What is going on, YouTube people? Today, we are here to rip some Bowman Blasters. I was doing some running around today. I popped in a target, as I am wont to do, if available. Wanted to grab something to drink, and I figured I would see if they had... Mostly, I was hoping they're maybe running into some optic football. I knew that was a long shot. But I already gotten out of the car. I made the whole trek in, and they had some Bowman Blasters. So... I figured, what the heck. Let's grab a couple and see what happens. Um, I opened some blasters on a live stream. Mixed results. Uh, one was absolutely loaded to the gills uh, with like numbered cards and parallels and all sorts of nonsense. Uh, we will move through the base stuff fairly quickly. Uh, and then the other one that I opened was very, or the other four that I opened were very kind of meh. Uh, I don't believe I hit any autos. So we got a lunar in here, mingos. And yeah, that first one, I was like, oh man, here we go. We are uh, on a tear here. And then it quickly fell apart. The best luck that I had was in Jumbos, but that's obviously, you know, duh. Uh, they're the most expensive. It's your best chance at hitting autos. Out of those, uh, I hit that uh, Walker Jenkins that I ended up selling, actually. I, I didn't play the, you know, should I grade it game and wait to get the stuff back, which, you know, we've discussed this on videos. I think it's a trap that people fall into in regards to, you know, new release product comes out like this and everyone wants to run to get it to PSA. And in some cases, that's the correct decision. Uh, but in some other cases, you got to kind of read the room to see if it is truly worth risking it, you know? Sometimes you pull the $500 auto, which is what I got for that $500 gold auto for a guy that had never had an at-bat in the minor leagues. And you can roll the dice and say, cool, let me send this off to PSA or wherever you want to send it to and, and kind of see what happens. And it may only be there for a month. Their turnaround times are pretty decent right now. One pack left in the first blaster. And by the time that you get it back, the card values come down because the hype's kind of already worn off a little bit. You know, people are on to the next thing already. It doesn't, doesn't take long in this market for people to quickly move on uh, to the next hot thing. Prospect power up. And you get the card back and it sells in a PSA 10. Say it gets a 10. Weak blaster one. Uh, and it sells for what you could have just got for it raw when you open the product. And that happens more times than not. You know, in, in the one video I talked about it, I had that Spencer Jones speckle that was a redemption. When I pulled that, uh, the redemptions were going for like five or six hundred dollars. And I redeemed it. I had to wait a while for the redemption to come in. Not super long, maybe like six months. Got the redemption in, then I had to send it off to PSA. And then hope it got a 10. And it was that was a borderline card on whether or not it was going to get a 10 or not. It got the 10. And then it took him having a ridiculously hot spring, which you don't really hear many people talking about him anymore. Dylan Cruz base paper. Skeens the action. Um, you don't hear people talking about him that much anymore. It took all that, and I traded that card for $750 in value. When I could have avoided all that nonsense and just sold the redemption back when the product was opened and got 500 bucks for it. So, you know, was it worth the extra $200 to risk the PSA 10? I don't know. You know, that's the stuff you got away. 
Now, in that case, if he wouldn't have started red hot, I probably would have broke even on that card. And I've had that happen plenty of times. But like I said, listen, you know, you got to kind of read the room. That's not going to be the case for everything. There's been plenty of new release products that I sent out for. Oh, he hit an auto. One of the few pitchers. There's like three pitchers on the checklist. And of course, uh, we hit him. Base paper auto. So that's not too shabby. And then a Skeensy top 100 prospects. So auto out of a blaster. That is always a win. The paper ones are sticker autos. And it is a pitcher. But it is a first. So we'll take that. We'll send him to back there. He'll help LeBron chalk toss it up a little bit. And a little Skeensy. Another Teal. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, you know, blindly send it into the upgrade shop, as Striker Breaks likes to call it, uh, is not always uh, the way. It's not always the smartest thing to do. In a lot of cases, it is. But I think with Bowman, it can specifically get a little tricky. I, I had a similar experience with, um, if you remember, I hit that Cam Collier Sapphire. I forget what it was. Orange or green or something. It was fairly no, no, low numbered. It was a pretty decent sized card. And that was another one. I sent it off to PSA. And I, like, I air quote profited off that card in theory because I pack pulled it and the box prices weren't terrible on Sapphire. But I got basically no premium for that card. Like, I, I would have been way better off selling that card raw right at release than what I got for it, especially factoring in the PSA grading fee. Captain Williams, Max Clark action. Oh, disaster. The pile fell over. We'll fix that in a second. The pile fell over. I'm being very sloppy on this box opening. All right, that's Blaster 2. We got an auto out of there, so we can't complain about that. Never complain about pulling an auto out of retail. And it's a Dodger, so it could be worse. Let's see how Blaster... So Blaster 1 was kind of meh. Blaster 2, pretty solid with an auto out of it. Let's see what Blaster number 3 has in store for us. No Walker Jenkins so far, not even a paper base. Hit one Dylan Cruz paper base, I think. Uh, and no good Chrome firsts. Let's see if we could turn that around a little bit. And kind of finish out. I just noticed. So like this whole pack. You can see that corner there. Almost every corner on the paper cards. Are all bent. That's the first time I've noticed that, to be fair. I've opened, this will be eight blaster boxes now and two jumbos. And that is the first time that I've noticed that. Boy, talk about guys that have wrecked my fantasy squad right there. Christian Encarnacion Strand has absolutely killed me. This pack's the same way. Look at that. Every corner. So it looks like hopefully we don't pull anything crazy in this pack. Oh, Dylan Cruz Chrome. Let's see how that corner is. Not that this is going for grading anyway, but uh, it's not too bad. Probably because of the fact that it's Chrome stock and not paper, it could take the the hit a little better. Now this pack does not want to open. Oh, same thing on this one. So something happened.
to that blaster box. Every pack so far out of here has been a little mangled, shall we say. Uh-oh, my, my pile almost went over. There, oh, here we go. Straighten it. All right, three packs left. Hopefully this uh, QC issue doesn't bite us. As in, hopefully it gets better or there's not a monster sitting in here. Nope, this pack too. I guess all the one on one big super fractors and stuff have been pulled already, so that would suck. Went to open the pack and the, the one on one super of Dylan Cruz is in there or something, and it's got a big jacked up corner on it. You would hope in a case like that, that would be something where Tops would remake the card. All right, this pack looks. Oh, wait, nope, that's the wrong corner. Nope, this one's even worse. Look at that. I don't know what happened here. The other packs were not like this. Oh, well, we got a green out of 99. Cooper Pratt with. Uh, it's not great, but it's not completely destroyed. Unlike that Jackson Holiday corner, which is completely destroyed. Well, that's a bummer. All right, last pack mojo, I guess, though that uh, number parallel is probably going to be the hit of the box, I'd have to imagine. How are we looking here? Yeah, whole blaster box. Ruined. Alice. Well, I guess luckily there wasn't anything crazy in that box. Because uh, that would have been annoying. I mean, it would have been cool to hit something good, but I guess it is what it is. So that's the first quality control issue I've had. If any of you guys and girls have... Uh, opened any of this stuff and saw something similar, please let me know. Like I said, that is blaster box number eight for me. And that's the first time I've had that problem uh, out of eight blasters. So hopefully it was just a little one-off thing there, but it was kind of weird that every pack in there was like that. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that blaster fell off the truck funny or something. I don't know. Uh, so nothing too crazy. Uh, we did hit the Swan first auto. And a couple decent first Bowman prospects, uh, but nothing super, super wild. So that is the box openings. We will catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.